Hi, I'm Derek Downey, a developer advocate for Google Cloud. I'm currently developing a banking app that uses Cloud Spanner and have previously discussed setting up the instance, database, and schema. In this final video, I'm going to highlight the two methods my banking app can use to modify data in Spanner, DML statements and Spanner mutations. In Cloud Spanner, there are two ways to modify data in an application. The first is data manipulation language, or DML. The second method is to use Spanner mutations. Both DML and mutations are executed within an ACID transaction, so changes commit or roll back as an atomic unit. But which one should I use? Let's take a look at each implementation. Users of other SQL-based systems will be familiar with DML statements. These are insert, update, and delete statements. Because of this familiarity, using DML provides an easy transition for making changes to Spanner data. DML is further broken into standard DML and partitioned DML. At a high level, standard DML is great for single statements, while partitioned DML is a special implementation for bulk data changes. DML statements allow you to read your writes. So if you make a change to data, those changes are available to later statements within the same transaction. And finally, any constraints defined on the schema are checked after each statement within a transaction to ensure data integrity for later statements in that transaction. Mutations are a sequence of inserts, updates, or deletes that make changes to specific rows or tables in a database without using the SQL layer. But these changes are still made within an ACID transaction. Changes made by mutations are applied in the order they are specified. These changes are buffered in the client locally, then sent to Spanner to be applied when the transaction is finished. Because of this, mutations do not support read after write within the same transaction. And constraints are checked at commit time rather than after each mutation. So using DML or mutations depends on the use case. Here are some guidelines. DML statements are great for typical OLTP workload usage and have the benefit of familiarity for anyone comfortable with SQL. For large change operations, either use mutations or partition DML. If you need to read changes from within the same transaction or want constraints to be checked after each statement, then use DML. If you want the ability to upsert, you will need to use mutations. In my banking app, I am using DML to create an account since it's a single insert statement and I'm familiar with the SQL syntax. But I use mutations to update the account and enter the details in the ledger because I do not need to read the data within the transaction after it changes. Also, because mutations are buffered locally, this larger transaction should be more performant. Both DML and mutations are supported in the native Spanner client libraries, so you can use the right method for specific changes, as I just showed. One caveat is that DML statements and mutations should not be mixed within the same transaction. This is because there might be some unexpected results for mutations since they are buffered until the commit of the transaction. With the ability to write data to Spanner using DML and Spanner mutations, my banking application is ready for the next stage of development. This series has shown how to get started developing against Spanner quickly using the emulator and how to size your instance when you're ready to expand development. I discussed different options to control database behavior for performance, availability, and security in the third video. And in the fourth video, I went over the basics for designing a schema to avoid hotspots and perform efficient lookups taking into account how Spanner splits data to achieve great scalability. Thank you for following along in this journey to get my banking application working on Cloud Spanner. Let me know in the comments if there are other Spanner topics you'd like more information on. Otherwise, what are you waiting for? Get working on your own application for Cloud Spanner today.